Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers. Now, you may remember the car behind me here that I gave extreme social anxiety, so whenever anything gets close to it, it just explodes out of sheer anxious fear. You guys seem to really enjoy that concept, so I thought, let's transfer that into flight mode and build a plane that is afraid of heights because that's probably the evilest thing I can imagine. But this one is gonna be a little bit more complicated than just simply exploding once it reaches a certain height. I want there to be height levels where the fear gets greater and greater until there's an eventual explosion. And what I figure would be a good idea is as it reaches certain levels, it's going to fall apart more and more and more, making it harder to go higher. And if you manage to get to whatever the maximum height is gonna be, then it's going to explode. So much like we did in the car episode, I'm gonna start off by building a completely brand new plane, and then we're gonna figure out how to set it up to be afraid of heights. So let's get building. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to basic prototype number one. I only have one distance uh, factored into this thing that's going to explode everything, and that is the maximum distance, because that's 2,000 meters, apparently, and I don't know how much it takes to get to 2,000 meters, nor do I even know if this thing is capable of flying yet, because it's completely untested. But let's see, first of all, can it even take off? Oh, this is a bad start already. Oh, oh, much better now. Oh, the weight distribution actually feels excellent. It's going so straight. All right, we got our pitch. Pitch is good. Roll seems good. Um, our landing gear actually went up automatically just as planned. Oh, it's way off to the side. I did, I did not center that like I thought I did, but we'll deal with that later. Okay, so we can actually see on the tail there, there are all of our uh, sensors. I have one sensor for each detachable point that I have, I think. Wait, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, I need two more actually. I have 10 detachable things. All right, so where is 2000? We're at 1000 almost now. It's gonna be really hard to get all the way up to 2000. We might have to change it. I don't know if the maximum is actually where we wanna set it, but I wanna see if I can get there and if it, works the way that I hope it does. When we get to 2000, this thing should get maximum height fear and just explode. 1800, we're almost there. 1900, here it comes. And 
<laughs> yes, and just as I had hoped, the cockpit is actually still intact, so it's not gonna eject our character out of the seat. And instead, we get to actually plummet back towards the ground. But I don't want to wait for that, so let's head back. And now we have the fun part of actually scheduling the detachment points. Here is where I have them. So I think first I'm going to start off with wing tips. We, you can see them over here. And I'm going to have them do like one side at a time kind of gradually. Um, we also have the vertical stabilizers are also independently attached. And then I have each of the tail fins, the horizontal stabilizers. But I feel like... I feel like that's a little extreme because if we lose those, we lose any pitch pretty much. And then I also have the entirety of the top wing gets detached, but the bottom wing should still stay. That way we can still continue to hopefully get some lift to our maximum point, which is going to then explode us. That is going to be the final point is explosion. All right, I'm going to go with the arbitrary starting point of 500 meters is when we're going to start to become afraid of heights. And at 500 meters, we are going to lose that wingtip. Then at 600, we're gonna lose this one. And so on and so forth. You guys will see the final product once I finish programming these. Okay, I think I've programmed it up to 1500 meters is now the max. It pretty much steps up from 500 to 1500 every 100 meters incrementally. Something is going to fall off the plane until we eventually explode if we get too high up into the air. If we can make it that high, I... That'd be surprising considering how many parts we're losing in the meantime. So let's see how this is going to go. Oh, this is a terrible start. This is an absolutely terrible start. I'm realizing it's probably best to take off towards the water where I can actually lift myself up. Okay. No, no, this works. This works. We're fine. This is all fine. Okay, so we're, we should be pretty safe until 500 meters. Because um, we're afraid of heights, and it's a plane, so it has a pretty high threshold for what scares it. So we're at 250, we're halfway there, but once we start getting too too high up in the air, the, the fear should start kicking in, and this thing should start... Oh, there we go. We just lost one of our pieces. Oh, oh, there we just lost another one. The fear's kicking in. The fear is kicking in. Oh, oh no. Oh, look, it's still attached to us. One of our vertical stabilizers. Oh no, there goes another piece. <laughs> And there goes another one of our tails. How is that still on us? Oh, there it goes. Uh-oh. All right, we're down to um, pretty bare bones when it comes to our main wings there. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Are we gonna... Uh-oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. If we could just lose the other one, that'd be great. Because then we'd be a little bit more even. Oh, man. Once we lose our tail fins, we're just gonna be done, though. I think we need to get up to... 1200 in order to lose the next piece, but it's not letting us Its defense mechanisms are working It's preventing us from going any higher. Oh, I am so out of control right now. Um, okay All right, what can we do about this? May I could just make it so that they fall off quicker a hundred meters in between actually seems a little bit too much distance Or I could have it get incrementally smaller so it gets quicker and quicker the higher we go which might make the most sense all right, I seem unable to get up to 1,200 meters. This thing uh, has an effective way of preventing itself from getting too high up into the air. So let's make some modifications so we can reach full fear of heights. Okay, so now the maximum height of fear is 950. So we're starting up at 500, and here's how I adjust the increments to make it kind of approach maximum fear. We got 500, 600, 675, 750, 800, 850, 875, 900, and then it starts to get really close. 920, 940, 950 to the final explosion. So let's see if this works as intended. All right, liftoff is successful. We should be safe until 500, and I guess I could just lower the 500 limit, to be honest. But, um, it's where I'm at now, so let's just keep it. Alright, here we go. We're approaching 500. And... I forget. Oh, there we go. First piece is off. The fear has initiated. It's starting to build up. Another piece is off. Another piece is off. Another piece is off. Another piece is off. Oh, no! Oh, no! We're falling apart! Oh, we're falling apart! Oh, this is bad. Oh! Wait, I'm actually confused. I didn't see any of the tail fall off. The horizontal stabilizers. It got it got so scared that it just skipped a couple steps there. Or maybe I just went too fast and it all happened at once. Well, I think the best way to figure it out is just to try again. Let us initiate fear of heights mode again. All right, there we go. First piece. 
second piece. Uh, third piece. There we go. Fourth. I like you can see the green build up as you go further and further. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, I actually... Did I lose one of my tail pieces? I think I did. Wait, what? No, no, no. There's, something's not right here with my tail. Oh, what? Something... This is very, very strange. You can see my tail is still attached and working, but I definitely... Definitely made it so that they shouldn't work and we're about to explode in three two one And fear of heights has reached its maximum. Oh whoops <laughs> I found the problem. I accidentally set the sensor to turn the steering hinge instead of trigger the detachable blocks Okay, that makes more sense now Okay, so now it should work and I've lowered the max distance now so that hopefully uh, It'll be a little bit easier to reach the exploding thing once we lose our tail because once we lose the tail We're really not gonna have any control over up or down All right, here it goes first piece We're gonna continue our ascent as our plane becomes scaredier and scaredier and sheds off the pieces it needs to get higher and higher look at that that was great. That was how it was supposed to happen. You saw every single individual piece fall off until finally it explodes. <laughs> Look at the pieces. You can still see them floating through the air. Oh, that is awesome. And we have a nice peaceful descent down into our watery grave. Oh, and we're going back up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, we're just going right back up. I'm not I'm not doing anything about that. Uh, what is happening? All right, so I've made some adjustments. I've lowered the sensor distance by 200 meters total. So everything happens 200 meters earlier. So now when we get to 300, as we are right now, that is when things start to fall apart. Everything is going to happen at the same increments after that, up to a maximum of 765 or something. Yeah, you can see all the pieces just falling off gradually and we're done. This is how a plane that is afraid of heights responds to its fear. Are any of you watching right now? Are you guys afraid of heights or even are you afraid of flying? If either of those are true for you, I highly recommend not getting into a plane that is also afraid of heights and apparently flying. <laughs> Look at this. Like this is just imagine if you just saw this happening. Your plane was like, nope, <laughs> uh, nope, <laughs> nope. Nope, let's go back down, please. Nope. See, this is what happens when your plane gets the duct tape treatment for maintenance. They just they just try to patch all the issues with just a nice healthy dose of duct tape and make sure everything just stays nice and intact. At least this is a single pilot plane, so um, only one person has to worry about that. Oh, and here we go back up in the air again. All right, so I'm gonna do one final challenge with this. I wanna see if I can get myself as high as I can without exploding and then come in for a landing. So I have to get myself up to the second to last notch on those sensors and then cut back down and try to land this thing with the minimum amount of wings that it allows me to have. Oh, what am I, I'm gonna have no pitch control. How am I even gonna glide back down? Oh, this is gonna be, I just realized that this might be an impossible challenge. I should still have roll. So at least I got that going for me. Okay, here comes the tricky part. I gotta not go too high. I got one more sensor, one more sensor to do. Come on, come on. All right, there we go. No, no, no. <laughs> Losing the last piece of the tail just set me right above the max limit. <laughs> not only do I have to try to get back down without pitch, I have to try to not go over the maximum limit once I lose all of my pitch. And if I can't pitch back down afterwards, what am I even supposed to do? All right, you know what? I'm gonna start turning back this way. Oh, we're getting close. We are getting real close. We have no more vertical stabilizers. What are we supposed to do? Oh boy, oh boy. All right, let's go up. Up a little bit. Seven, okay, one more. One more, 740, I think we need to get. All right, there we go. Stop, 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 stop. If we get to 765, we die. Okay, so now, oh, uh, what am I even supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no way. Am I gonna be able to- I have no pitch control. What am I supposed to do? I- I'm lost. I'm literally just lost in the air with no pitch control. There's nothing for me to do. Maybe I should just leave one aspect of pitch control. 
I don't know. Well, I knew the challenge was going to be hard, nearly impossible, and uh, does a water landing count? We got a water landing, right? What? Why did I get sent flying so high? I, oh, I, hopefully my character isn't afraid of heights as much as the plane is. Well, we made a car that has social anxiety. We've made a plane that has a fear of heights. Do you have any other ideas on this kind of theme here? What other irrational fears would you like to see vehicles exhibit? Let me know down in the comments below and maybe we'll do some more of this. It seems like a really fun concept. Leave a like if you liked it. And if you missed the social anxiety car, then definitely go ahead and check out that video on the playlist right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.